Hi guys, today I will be showing you how to use a, a bait caster fishing rod. Usually more of a hard bait, but you can use them for whatever. It depends on what type of fisherman you are. Now, mine's a loose. I forget how tall it is. So, I have braided mine, but um, fluorocarbon on the end. So, what you're going to want to do to try and get less backlashes is... Okay, hold on a second, please. Oops. Oh, sorry, guys. Oops. Okay, so you have a clear view. So, okay, here's my pole. I have a classic Senko with a bass hook on. I rigged it up. Read this. Okay, so here's your drag right here. That's how you're going to set, like, for a fish. See it right now? That's pretty loose. I don't know, I'll mess with that later. And then this is your weight setting. Okay. Okay, so watch. So I'm gonna pull it towards this way. Okay, so you saw how it dropped a little bit. That's not good, you want it to drop faster and better. So now I'm twisting it forward. More forward a little. Oop. So as you can see, it dropped perfectly. And that's what you're going to want. You always want it to be like that. It prevents backlashes but always when you're fishing one of these things keep your thumb on this because if you don't what's going to happen is you're just going to get backlashes because the thing about these poles is they don't know when to stop you have to like hold on to them so that you don't like you know what you have to make sure with these? They're not like spinning wheels. You never. The worst type of backlashes are when you hit a tree and you keep going. Okay, you can't basically, you can't really stop it. It just keeps going. It makes the backlash, the worst backlash you'll ever see. So yeah, you know, so that's how you said it, drag and stuff, I'll get into it on another video. Remember, with these, I have 30 pound braid to 15 pound, okay, hold on, I'll show you my lines right now. 30 pound test braid. Rated. Then I have 200 yards of 15 pound test. And this is fluorocarbon, so it's nice and clear. And the reason I, I use um, braided line on my on my rods is so that. You can get um, fish out of weeds um, easier. It just makes it ten times easier to get fish out of the weeds and stuff. 
Like, because if you just have some crappy six pound test line on your pole, what's gonna happen when you're pulling your fish out? It's just gonna go ding. It's just gonna snap right up. And see, it's like a 10 pounder. I don't think anyone wants to lose a 10 pound bass. I know I wouldn't. So yeah, that's my bait caster. It's a lose. It was 130 bucks and then plus line all together. Came to 150 plus tax because I was in Mass, but I actually live in New Hampshire. Uh, was 173 if you live in Massachusetts and you have tax. So yeah. And it's a really good pull. I don't get too many backlashes. Um, you can feel the fish very nicely. And I have no real bad things to say about that pull. Non-breakable. It really is nice, honestly. I mean, I wouldn't mind having another one. What I need, though, is a good spinning rod for, like, plastics and stuff. But I'll use that thing for anything real. Okay, make sure you like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos.